Hello and welcome to a Minecraft video. I'm Scudobuyo playing Vanilla Minecraft 1.8.6 PC Edition, and this video is the fourth in a series of videos in which I conquer an ocean monument. Uh, in this video, I will be killing the last of the three Elder Guardians. Uh, that's the Elder Guardian in the penthouse at the top of the monument. Uh, so I'm just going to head back out to the ring, and I'll see you in a moment. Okay, I'm back on the ring that I built when I killed the first Elder Guardian. Uh, I've got my two sponges here that I won from killing the, uh, the Elder Guardians in the wings there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and dry those out uh, using some wood planks as impromptu furnace fuel. Uh, and while that's cooking, I'm going to dump seven blocks of sand on each outside position of this cobblestone ring. Uh, that will create a sand ring down below that will completely encase the, um, uh, the prismarine uh, ring of the monument. So let me go ahead and get some sand ready here. Okay, so seven blocks on each out outside position, including the position underneath the forward extension here. So I'm going to go ahead and drop one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then seven here. And I'm just going to continue that all the way around. And what that's going to do, you can see that the uh, seven blocks brings the sand just above the surface of the water. So uh, I'm going to uh, fast forward this part and I'll see you back after I've dumped all the sand here. Okay, that's all the sand. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get my dried out sponges here. I uh, probably don't need to deal with sand anymore at this point. Um, and you can see I've got this nice little sand ring uh, all the way around the uh, prismarine ring uh, down below. And it creates a nice little enclosed pool. Uh, and I need to remove the water from this pool in order to punch a hole in the top of the monument to get at the Elder Guardian in the penthouse. Uh, I'm going to, that's what the uh, two sponges from the other guardians are going to be uh, used for. Uh, so I'm going to want to place a sponge in the corner on top of the uh, prismarine ring down below, uh, opposite my sand pillar here, um, and that's going to clear out the top half of the pool, and then I'll place uh, one sponge underneath in order to clear out the bottom half of the pool. Uh, now it could be that in dumping the sand, a, a guardian gets trapped in there. Uh, well, let's just go ahead and make this a bit more interesting. Okay. All right, got a couple of guardians down there now. Uh, now, one of the, you can see them kind of swimming around. I'm going to hopefully wait until they uh, can go down into the bottom area there. Uh, it's not strictly necessary. They, they are kind of swimming around. Um, I, I want to make sure that they're in the bottom just because it makes it a bit easier for me to place my sponge and, and uh, avoids the possibility of them attacking me. Uh, but it doesn't look like they're going to go down there on their own, so uh, I'm going to just hop down and place a sponge in that uh, bottom right corner where that guardian's sitting right there. And wait for it to move, though. There it goes. Okay. Place a sponge, and they are going to... Uh, well, I'll give this guy a little push. There he goes. Uh, all right, so they, uh, they went down uh, into the bottom on their own, uh, and now I'm going to uh, uh, need to get down there and clear out the rest of the water uh, at the same time uh, avoiding those guardians. So uh, I'm going to get some doors to create a little, uh, little area in which I can protect myself down there. Uh, and um, uh, it's targeting me here. Uh, and I want to go uh, into the corner that's directly underneath my sand pillar here, so uh, opposite this sponge. I'm just going to drop down there, and I'm going to place two doors to give myself a little bit of an enclosure. There we go. Okay, uh, they can't get me in here. Um, there's a one block uh, high gap, uh, one block high water above me. But uh, even if they swim in here, they can't really target me. So uh, I'm going to wait for them to move, and then I'm going to place a sponge right there. See if I can place it. There we go. And that will clear out all of the remaining water down here. Okay, they're just hopping around, uh, which is fine. Uh, and I don't really want to uh, attack them directly, partly because I don't have a sword with me. I don't want to kill them with a pickaxe. Uh, 
Uh, but also, uh, their Thorns defense uh, means that I would be taking damage, which isn't that much of a big deal. Uh, but it's going to wear out my armor really, really quickly. Every time I hit one of these guys, uh, I, all of my armor takes a point of damage, uh, and uh, or loses a point of durability, rather. And um, I would have to hit them several times with, uh, with a stone pickaxe in order to kill them. So uh, I'm going to kill them just with fire. Just using uh, my flint and steel. They hop around enough to jump into the fire. Uh, and maybe I'll have to do this a couple of times, uh, but eventually they'll die. They do have quite a bit of, uh, uh, of HP, so it does take a little bit for them to, uh, 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 to be killed by fire. Alright, let's get a little bit more fire here. The only use that I have for my flint and steel is to light the TNT, so I've, I've got quite a bit of extra durability on it since I only have 16 TNT, uh, or at least had only 16 to start with. Okay, so that's it for the um, uh, for the guardians, uh, and now I'm going to want to uh, punch a hole in uh, in this uh, in the floor of this block right at the base of my door. Um, let me get my milk ready, and also uh, my pickaxe. Uh, now, before I had needed to wait until a, a guardian was uh, going to be inflicting me with mining fatigue uh, before I uh, drank the milk and, uh, and used the pickaxe. Uh, but in this case, there's only one guardian left, and that guardian was the one that inflicted me with mining fatigue. Uh, so I just need to wait until it's on the minute uh, when I know it would perform its check. So I'm going to wait just a few more seconds, uh, and then I'm going to drink the milk and punch the hole. Uh, after the hole is there, I'm going to um, drop down with a jack-o'-lantern and place some doors uh, against the side in order to perform a little uh, form a little protected area down there. All right, so let me get ready here. Just waiting right until on the minute. Okay, there we go. So drink the milk. I can punch the hole. I lost that block of prismarine down there. That will probably be destroyed, but um, that's all right. Uh, and now I'm going to go ahead and uh, ready my jack-o'-lantern. There's uh, three blocks high of water down there, so if I spam place the jack-o'-lantern while I fall, I'll still have two blocks in order to uh, scoot away from on top of it. I'm just going to walk against the, uh, the wall over there and place some doors uh, right next to a sea lantern that I know is down there, uh, and that will give me some light uh, and some protection. So. I have my jack lantern and I'm going to prepare my doors here. Let me. I, I'm going to actually clean up my hot bar just a little bit here. There we go. Let's see. Jack o' lantern and doors. Spam place the jack o' lantern and one door. Oh, got took a hit there. Should have waited to place that door. Uh, now I've got a little uh, nice little protected area down here. Um, uh, the elder guardian is over there. Uh, and I'm going to use the same TNT trick to, to kill this guy as the others, um, but the penthouse has a hole in the floor here. It always has a hole into, uh, into one of the rooms of the maze below. Uh, so before I kill that Elder Guardian, I want to seal up that hole with cobblestone. And I'll let him target me a little bit there. There we go. Okay, so I placed four cobblestone to seal up that hole. Uh, now when I kill the Elder Guardian, I'm not going to, uh, its sponge is not going to drop through there. So I get my TNT ready. And let's see if I can get him to come a little bit closer. If you let a Guardian target you, um, that sort of resets their pathing behavior and uh, it makes them want to move. Uh, I want him to move a little bit over here just because it's easier to, to retrieve his sponge, but... Let's just do it this way for now. Okay, there's one shot on him. It will take at least two, perhaps more. That's maybe a little too close for comfort, but. Okay, looks like he's gonna take a third shot here. Just go ahead and do that now. Oh, he's way over there. That was unfortunate. All right. Well, he's dead, um, but his sponge is way over there, and there's probably another guardian floating around. So I might take a hit in going to uh, going to retrieve that. 
I'm gonna get some doors ready just in case I need to put up a barrier while I uh, while I get the sponge over here. And there's the sponge. Okay, I'm gonna head back to my uh, my door enclosure over here. Uh, and now I do have a way back up. That's the hole I came in by. Um, but in order to uh, actually get through there, I'm going to need a ladder. Uh, so I've got my ladder. Now, it, uh, sometimes it's a bit hard to get up through that single hole there, um, in which case placing a door on top of the jack-o'-lantern uh, makes a nice guide for getting up. But um, uh, in this case, uh, I won't need that. So there we go. Uh, okay, so I've gotten my last uh, sponge here. I've killed all three Elder Guardians. Um, I'm going to want to bring back all of my sponges. I've got one up there, I've got one here, uh, and I've got one in my inventory. Uh, in order to get these two, I'm going to have to wait for my mining fatigue to run out. Uh, while I do that, I'm going to uh, get a couple of things, though. Let's put that away. I'm going to want to grab two buckets of water, grab it from this infinite water source here. Uh, and um, let's see, anything else to do at this point? Nope, I think I'm just going to wait uh, for my mining fatigue to wear off. Uh, so I'll see you back in a moment when I can start clearing out some of this stuff. Okay, that's all three Elder Guardians down and the end of mining fatigue. So now I can go ahead and start taking some of these blocks back. Um, let's take away this door. Didn't bring an axe, so. Okay, um, now I'm going to want to leave a layer of water down here. <clears throat> and the layer of water is because uh, underneath the ocean monument can be underground caves where Endermen can spawn. And I'm going to need this little sand enclosure here to remain intact. I don't want any of them teleporting up here and stealing sand from the walls, uh, which would cause a big mess. Uh, so I'm going to uh, keep a layer of water in here to prevent Enderman teleportation. Uh, and let me uh, swim back up here. Go ahead and retrieve this sponge. And the same is up here. I'm going to want to leave a, leave a layer of water in order to prevent Endermen from teleporting up here. Uh, it's starting to get un less and less likely that they can make it up this high, um, uh, but they still can, so just to be sure. This will make sure that there's only a single layer. Those ladders there prevent water from uh, flowing down. I don't want water flowing down because that would create too high water in which guardians can spawn, so... There we go. Uh, that's the layer of water there. Uh, and before I head back up, um, I'm going to need to place a torch. Um, a single torch uh, against the uh, against the sand pillar uh, at the same uh, uh, just above the uh, just above the level of the uh, uh, of the sand ring uh, will prevent uh, that will light the entire sand ring to a level of eight or above. That will prevent uh, mob spawning on top of the sand. Uh, on top of the sand ring here. So uh, and I'm going to scoot back over here and we can start uh, placing ladders. I'm going to want to retrieve my um, uh, retrieve my furnace up there and get back on the ring. So I'm going to uh, just jump back up here, stand on top of the ladder and get my furnace. And uh, Guardians can target me up here, so I'm going to hop back down in the water, uh, place another ladder, and then go back up in order to get that slab. Guardians can still target me up here, so one more time into the water. Uh, and now I'm just going to go up uh, onto the ring. There we go. Uh, so that's it. Uh, three Guardians down. Uh, I got all three of my sponges. Uh, now it's time to go back to my little base over there in order to gather the materials that I will need in order to build the cover uh, on top of the, uh, uh, over the monument. So I'm going to come over to one of the extensions that I built and I'm going to place a boat. 
uh, I'm just going to place it on the ground. You can place uh, boats on dry ground uh, and you can even ride in them. They just don't move very fast. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm going to place a boat on here. I'm going to hop in and I'm going to push off into the water and just head back to my base here. There we go, back in the water. Boat drifted away there. I'll go grab that later. Uh, and that's it. Um, I've gotten all of my um, all of the sponges from the Elder Guardians. I don't have to worry about mining fatigue anymore. Uh, and it is time to move on to the next phase of the project, uh, building the cover over the monument. Uh, that is it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, and if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a note in the comments.